you can you can directly use if you want you can directly use the function or you can set up the date say let's say dt str1 date string one and copy that So that's, your, that's the date string. Now you want to convert that into a date time object. Okay. And of course you can save it into a variable, but let's just convert it and print it. So that means you do dt str1, okay? And then what function should we use? str p time parse time str parse time so So now we need to specify the format. Um, wait a minute. I, okay. So this is uh, STRP time is not going to work because we have not imported it. So you have to specify the um, the library first. So date time, okay, so this is where, this is the library from which we get this function, and then we specify the string, dt str1, and then the format. Format should go within quotation mark, okay? So what is the format for this? We have we have the two digit month. Two digit month. Uh, what is the format code for two digit month? Percentage. What? Lowercase m. Exactly. Lowercase m. Now there is no space. And then we have two digit date of the month, day of the month. So that would be percentage, lowercase uh, d, and then percentage. The year is four digits, so it's a percentage what? Lowercase y, uppercase y, uppercase y. So then it's going to get converted correctly. Okay. So here is another one. So let's say d t s t r two. Is, is that, okay. Now we have date time, str, p time, dt, str, 
true. Okay. So now what is the format now? So percentage first is two digit uh, day of the month. Okay. So percentage D after that. Next is one. Okay. Space. Right? And then we want, uh, uh, then the month, the month is completely spelt out. So, what is the code for that? Of course, we are not going to be able to remember all the codes <laughs> by heart, I mean, unless you do dates all the time. So, you have to scroll up and look at the table, okay? And what is the code? Anybody? Go ahead. Uppercase? B. Uppercase B. All right. And then uh, then what? A space and then Percentage? Lower case Y. Now, here is where you're going to have, you know, this is a common problem. Okay, if you have two digit here, okay, so if before 2000, everything will be okay. But after 2000, if you have two digit, so if you have zero, zero, or 10 or something, then percentage Y is going to think this is really 1910, not 2010. So this is, a, this is one of the typical problems that you'll have when you bring in data. So what we do is we compare the year to the current year, today's year, okay, and then add, you know, 100 years to, to the year day. So that way you, you fix that problem. So you, you need some coding with if statement and all that. Okay. So right now, let's not worry about that. So it's, this is a percentage, lowercase y, and then a space, and then the time is in, uh, what, 12 hour clock. 12 hour clock is i. Uppercase I. Okay. And then I have a colon. Okay, so colon. And then the minute. Okay, so that would be what? Percentage uppercase M. Okay. And then we have a space. And then there is this uh, two letter AMPM. AMPM is percentage lowercase p. Okay. Okay. Now we want question number 18, so we want today and add 100 days to it. So let's say, call it DT today, okay? So that will be date time dot So just to just to make sure that we have it right, let's just look at the date. Okay. So we have date time dot now gives you date time 
2022, September 6th, 1428, uh, microsecond, millisecond, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So now we want to add 100 days to it. Okay. So let's say DT future. Okay, so we take dt today. Okay, so that has the two, that has today's date in date time format. Okay, now we want to add hundred days to it. Okay, if you want to add hundred days, you have to create a time delta a time range. And the time delta, so you have to specify that this time delta should be in days and it should be 100 days. Okay. So you say plus and you use the function time delta and we have already imported time delta as time delta. So we don't need to put date time library name in front of it. So we can use time delta and by pressing the tab key, you see that time delta is right there. Okay. Time delta. Okay. And time delta, okay, go back here and then see what time delta does. Okay. So these are the options that we have. So we need to say days equal to 100 because we want time delta of 100 days. So days, OK, well, it's not there. Days equal to 100, OK? All right, so now we have the future date, 100 days from today, is now saved here in DT future. Now we want the day or the week of that date, right? We want the day of the week. So you take that DT future, okay? So now we, we, we have a date object and we want to display the weekday and that's going to be in string. So we use str format, str f time, right? So should be date time dot str f time, okay? And then what what is the format code we have to use. So again, we are not going to be able to remember all these codes, obviously. So we have to go back and then see full week day name is percentage A. All right. So uh, where am I? Okay, percentage A. Okay, so that's Thursday. So, you know, we can we can do all that in one single line, right? So, we take. Um, Date, date, time, dot, now, okay, and then you add time, delta, uh, days equal to 100, okay, 
So now we want to apply the, fun the, the format to this. Okay, so we, if you put this within brackets, okay, so now we put this sum in brackets, so what we get is the time date in the future. Okay, so now to that we can apply str um, f time percentage a and so three lines you can, can make it into one line that's the same thing and in between it's not even creating that in between variable yeah Yeah, you have to, that's a function. So when you have a function, you have to have that empty bracket. So uh, you can, if you, if you leave it as empty, it's going to give you the entire string of the current date and time and all that. But you can specify that I want now just the, um, just the time or adjust the month, then you will get that only. If you leave it, I mean, if you leave nothing in it, then you, you get the whole thing. 